Sanjay Jha, Meenakshi Lekhi of Amara Congress and the BJP. Also joining us, Leela Ponappa, former Deputy National Security Advisor. My first question is to Mr. Partsarthi. Mr. Partsarthi, have we got our strategy somewhere completely flawed? Is it time for a reassessment of how we have been looking at Pakistan, especially given the growing influence of General Kiani? Well, let me put it this way. We had our uh, diplomacy is conducted on a careful assessment of the situation in the adversary or the neighboring country. We, we had it right till about, for UPA 1, till about 2007, when President Musharraf, uh, we assessed, would stay by his, uh, by his promise not to, not to allow terrorism against India from Pakistani soil. We went horribly wrong with UPA 2 when we didn't assess the change which came about with the uh, General Kayani uh, re replacing President Musharraf and a weak government which had no control over the army. I mean, uh, uh, the, the President sends his Home Minister to the army headquarters and General Kayani did, uh, denies the Home Minister permission to enter the army headquarters. Now, anybody who studied General Kayani knows that since 1998, he is hardcore anti-Indian favoring infiltration. Now, uh, in, uh, the first signs came in Afghanistan when the Afghans told us that the attack which killed a brigadier level Indian military attache and, our, uh, and a, and a counselor was orchestrated from across uh, the uh, Durand line from Pakistan. This was followed by more attacks against us in Afghanistan. And then 2611 came. Uh, and uh, it was a, also a huge failure on the part of us to act on actionable intelligence. We were so cozy about dialogue with Pakistan, disregarding they killed an Indian brigadier in Kabul. Well, 2611 we paid the price for. Then went to, went to uh, Sharm el Sheikh. And then uh, said that uh, we, uh, we are deeply sorry they are accusing us of Baluchistan and we will have an irreversible dialogue and nothing was said of 2611. So the Pakistanis have taken us for a bunch of suckers to put it mildly. Uh. And uh, what, 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 they have, what they are doing is upping the ante across the LOC with the infiltration. And the infiltration is largely Lashkar. And those they are infiltrating are killing, uh, killing sarpanches and panchayat members to undermine democracy in uh, Kashmir. So what happens? The Indian army fires back when they are infiltrating. And they escalate and, and mutilate our soldiers. The least we should have done, and this is the most shameful thing, after our, um, uh, the uh, uh, soldiers were mutilated, as at least as a measure of protest, we, sh we should have recalled our High Commissioner for consultations. That is the very least. But why didn't we? other countries do in no, such no, 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 but why, why didn't we? I want to present two points to Leela Ponapa as I try and no, draw... Why didn't we? Just, 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 just a minute. Why, why didn't we? Because we have boxed ourselves into a position of dialogue only. And dialogue on terms set by Pakistan, I'm not against dialogue. I want more Pakistanis to visit India. I want a people-to-people -people friendship. I have nothing against all this. More trade. But unless you get tough on terrorism, including stepping up covert operations inside Pakistan and developing capabilities similar to what happened in uh, Abbottabad when uh, Osama bin Laden was taken out, you, you're going to get nowhere because you have a situation where you have friendly political leaders, whether it is Nawaz Sharif or Alta Hussein or Zardari or Afsandiyar Wali Khan, but they are unable to do anything on terrorism either on India or Pakistan or Afghanistan. And now Afghanistan is cooling off, so they are going to turn more to India. This government has just lost the plot. It has a bunch of amateurs who know nothing of in the internal politics of Pakistan or the role of the army there. And we are paying the price. Opening up this for debate, 
I find it interesting that in July 2011, and before I go to Meenakshi Lekhi, let's get the more conservative pro-government point of view from Sanjay Jha. In July 2011, two things happened. One, two troopers of the 20 Kumaon Regiment, as has now come out in the media, are beheaded by the Pakistanis. On the other side, we go and say that uh, we cannot wish away the fact, the statement in the Lok Sabha, July 29, 2009, we cannot wish away the fact that Pakistan is our neighbor. Do you believe, Sanjay Jha, that UPA2 messed it up? That UPA2 gave away too much right at the start? I mean, right after the general elections of 2009, all this talk about how can there be a peaceful, you know, a inclusive and democratic uh, India not have a destiny with, uh, with, with Pakistan. We are locked in a shared destiny. We must have a permanent peace. This whole talk about an uninterrupted and uninterruptible dialogue that is repeated ad nauseum by certain sections in India. We gave a sense, and that's what Mr. Patsa did. We gave a sense that it is on us, is on us. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, listen, I, in, fa in, fair, in fairness, UPA1 conducted uh, its relations with prior Pakistan in a very mature way. They went wrong in the assessment of the internal dynamics of Pakistani politics, the rise of General Kayana, Kayani and the jihadi generals in Pakistan, and have not adjusted to that reality of having a nuanced relationship of dealing in one way with the political leadership and giving the Pakistan army a hammering. Sanjay Jha, we gave away too no, much. Can I respond? We didn't yeah. even respond when our soldiers were being beheaded. Not this time, but earlier. Uh, Arnab, let me tell you, I mean, yeah, no, no, uh, let me answer. You know, there is, uh, every time there is a discussion about India and Pakistan, you know, there is always this uh, implicit and very often explicit and extremely vocal uh, criticism of what happened at Sharm el Sheikh. And second, that because we have continued with the stance of having a diplomatic dialogue with Pakistan, it makes India a soft state. I don't think so. I, I honestly believe that, you know, one of the most pragmatic decisions at Sharm el Sheikh was looking at the fact that if you look at the country's historical context and more important, the future, I think the government was right in looking at the stakes India has in terms of a hostile relationship with, a, with an inimical neighbor of the past, these of his one with whom perhaps there should be an effort made to you know try and see what kind of a solution can be brought forth. India's stake today, and let me add that because this is a point that very often we get into just nothing but a lot of political rhetoric about whether there should be a limited intervention, whether there should be more aggressive diplomacy. But I believe, Arnab, India in today's changing global context has a lot more at stake uh, if so things I, I go don't wrong know. between India and Pakistan or conversely things go right. No, I, I'm letting it putting putting it down. If in India has any so, degree of, you know, so perceived worldwide as a very, now everybody knows it's a very dangerous territory. Pakistan, everybody recognizes our norm. We don't have to be hawkish about that. It's a dangerous uh, country. It is fractured. It's got Sir, that's militants not the point. within, no, you that's know, not about the Pakistan, the Taliban, Sir, United States, the withdrawing question from is Afghanistan. Off. No, these are some No, no, realities. Sanjay, one second. But I think India Mr. Partasati raised his hand out there. And that's I, I, I'll ignore. get in Mr. Partasati and then Minakshi yeah. Lekhi also. The fact is, we follow a predictable pattern in our relationship. I, I know. I, I look. I entirely agree. It is ridiculous not to have a dialogue. From the very beginning, I have said we should improve trade and economic relations. We should improve our uh, tie, ties on people-to-people -people contacts. I, 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 I'm all in favour of that. Uh, but this dialogue has to be nuanced and properly framed. We have allowed Pakistan to remove the salience of terrorism. Come back to us and tell us, oh, you admitted Balochistan, no. you are doing Balochistan, what we did in Mumbai. You know, now, you know, Mr. that is very, Mr. very Patisati, dangerous. Let me ask so you this question. So please continue the dialogue. You have been a seasoned diplomat, you have been... Now, you have been looking at India-Pakistan yeah. very closely. Would you agree that Indian government, especially the UPA, did manage to successfully put a lot of international pressure on Pakistan post-2611? I know we are still looking at a resolution to that. But look, it uh, yeah, resulted uh, look, in a uh, lot of uh, diplomatic uh, look, isolation, uh, look, a lot of international attention, uh, uh, look, look, where Pakistan uh, almost got branded as a terrorist state. I, I'm, listen, I'm not in politics. Let me say that both the NDA and the UPA handled their United States relationship with the United States substantially well. Both had that power put. But we, we conveyed a, a clear message to Pakistan 
that we were at a loss to do anything in response to terrorism. In, in Sharm el Sheikh, you and I and spoken to your Congress party people in private, they acknowledge you went wrong. So, but uh, but leave, let me leave it as it. All I am saying is have a nuanced policy, keep in touch with politicians, improve people to people relations, but don't go to dialogue for dialogue's sake. It's not a mantra. Therefore, have a nuanced dialogue. You know, Fair before enough. we resume no. the dialogue yeah. and get, got an assurance from Pakistan, for two years, Brajesh Mishra had secret discussions with the Pakistanis. Satinder Lamba from the UPA government had excellent secret discussions. I am merely saying you have lost your way when you did not realize the implications of Kayani replacing Musharraf and a weak government which could not control the army and now the time has come, to be honest, to have the capabilities to cause them as much harm as they cause us. Targeted at the military. And I know from the days of Indira Gandhi, and, we had this And you recommend that... No, one second. Now, now I want to... Full exist. knowledge... No, one second. That Pakistan uh, could be yes. a dangerous proposition. You see, for them... Sir, one minute. Probably a provocation... Sir, this is a... Kind of a limited instigation... If, 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 if you are... If, much. I mean, they're if you are... If you are... Sir, sir, and irresponsible. If, in effect, in effect, so that is the worry. It's irresponsible. In effect... I, I, in effect... I, I'd like to one second, gentlemen. In effect... Multiple authorities... My question is... One minute, gentlemen. One minute. In effect, you are... Saying, in effect, you are saying, in effect, you are saying, let Pakistan come and run all over us, and we yeah. do nothing in return. Yeah. In, a, in effect, Sanjay Ja, what you are that saying is, that is not a way foreign policy. What, what, what you are saying, one second, no, no, no. Sanjay Ja, I am going to get a political response, and then I am coming to Leela Ponapa because I'm because, because we lost the satellite link with her earlier. One minute, please. First, I want to get a political reaction. Leela Ponapa, I will. I know you present the other strategic perspective, different from Ji Sati. I'll come to you for a full reaction, but Leela Ponapa. Before that, to Minakshi. Not Lake. necessarily different. Yeah. Oh, not necessarily different. I appreciate that. I will not try and create differences where there are none. But pa Mr. Patsati says <laughs> in negotiations don't happen by presenting yourself as sitting ducks. This whole business of being sitting ducks go has ahead. gone on for too far. Minakshi Lekhi first to the points made by Sanjay Jha that the onus is on us more, that we have more to lose. I don't. <coughs> um, I, I think we have gained enough uh, from uh, conducting the manner in which we have conducted ourselves in running our country. We do not really have anything to lose. We had gained even in exposing terrorist links of the Pakistan. 2611 gave us the opportunity and we have lost the opportunity. Against Samjhata, there was a United Nations Security Council resolution declaring Pakistan was responsible. And for our internal politics, we have allowed a different point of view to erupt because internal politics and subjugating certain factors was more important than internationalizing the issue and dealing with Pakistan firmly.